So I bought a Telegizmos 365 cover so I could keep my scope out uh, year round or through some bad weather. And I had to decide on a setup. You can see over here I've got my LXD 75 um, with a 10 inch LX200 on it. Peeling off a bit there. Problem with this, it's just too big. Um, the wind has too much of an effect on it. And it's really nice having a setup where I can still image with 10 mile per hour winds. It really doesn't affect it. The Milvern wedge is meant to, to hold much heavier telescopes, but I've got an 8 inch. Where, where is this? This can hold a, a, up to a 14 inch um, on a fork mount. It, get less, it gets less stable as you, you know, the, the scope gets heavier. So I have an 8 inch, which is compact compared to the 10. The size difference is significant. So you can see I don't have a dew shield on because it was sort of windy last night. I don't want that acting like a sail. Also, the, the wind keeps uh, the dew from forming. So I've got, uh, for imaging, for the, for the camera, I've got an ASI 1600 mono. Because you got to have a monochrome camera. And then I have an ESW um, electronic filter wheel from ZWO. Pegasus Astro um, focus cube, which I have attached to a focuser. See right there. So that doesn't move in and out too much. It really only has, you can see it, I think it's displaying about 11 ticks there. It only goes up to about 25 ticks. So you focus with the main mirror and then make adjustments electronically with a Crayford and stepper motor. Um, I've been experimenting with different guide programs like MetaGuide and PHD2. Obviously PHD2 is the one that, that's most popular, but I heard some things about MetaGuide. I'm trying to get that to work. I also tried off-axis guiding last night, which didn't turn out so good. I, I ended up guiding on it, but it was windy and it was just difficult to find a guide star.